بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہے وہ جو ٹاپک آف ٹوڈے ایز دی سیکنڈ سٹینڈرڈ اور کینونیکل فارم دیٹ وی ویل بی ڈسکسنگ ٹوڈے وچ از دی پروڈکٹ آف سم فارم پروڈکٹ آف سم فارم اینڈ ان دی شارٹ کٹ اٹس ریٹن ایز دی پاس فارم مائی بول All right. Now, what is this pause form again? As uh, the sub form, this is another standard form, which is in the same way written directly from the truth table. Again, okay. how? Written directly from truth table. All right. But we got a difference. And what is that difference? The difference is the second point. It's written only when the function function's value is zero. Okay? So in the sub form, we write the sub form when the function's value is one. But the pause form, we write when the function's value is zero. Okay. We discussed the method of writing the sub form and now we discuss the method of writing the pause form. Similar is the method with again one difference. In the sub form, we have the min terms which was obtained by the end of the individual bits. Here, we have max terms. Here we have max terms, which are obtained by oring the bits. By oring the bits. All right. And one another property is that here the bits that are zero are taken. The bits that are take are zero are taken in a non-complemented form. And the bits that are one, they are written in a complemented form. And you order them together, and then all the all the uh, max term they are added together or they are ordered together. So that means that the sum, sorry, all the max term are then ended together, which makes that that the sum is then ended with each other. How is that? So we'll explain it to an example. But first, uh, let me show you how. Let's say we got two inputs, a, b, and the function is y. All right. So we have four different combinations: is a zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. So. For this, let's say don't 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 give me the y. I first show you the the terms, the max terms. So the max terms would be what? The max terms would be here. The a is low, so we take it a non-complemented. B is low, we take it again and non complement it. Like this. This would be the first max term. The second is A plus B complement as B is high. Over here we have an A complement plus B as A is high. And in the last we have both high, which makes it an A complement or with a B complement. How are they designated? They are designated by a capital M, M0, M1. M2 and M3. The same 2 to the power n max terms as the min terms ranging from 2 to the 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1, the same way as the min terms did. One important property is that the min term and the max terms are the complement of each other. Mi is the complement of Mj. Or let's say Mi complement is equal to Mj or Mj complement is equal to Mi. You can use that interchangeably. 
MJ. Okay. If you take the complement of this min max term M naught, it will give you the min term of this function M naught. That's the way. All right. So these are the basics. And let's move to an example. Let's say I have a three inputs. Three inputs A, B, and C. A, B, and C. So I told you about the combinations. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then a group of twos. And then a group of fours. And the value of the function is given over these, which is like this. So, we have to express this as a product of some form. So, we do it directly for the two table we did. We, and the second point is that it's written when the function's value is zero. So, the function value is zero over here, over here, over here. So, we got M naught, we have M1, and we have M3. Now, we can write this function. We can write this function as what? This function can be written as a product of the max terms 0, 1, and 3. What does this pi represent? This pi represents the AND operation. All right? Now we write the max terms over here. So this function f would be what? This function f would be a plus b plus c. into a plus b plus c complement and then 0, 1, 2 and 3 a plus b complement plus c okay so this this form that is obtained directly from the truth table has all the variables in it this is similar to the uh, soft form, this is called the standard or the canonical pause form. Which has all the variables in it. Okay. Now, we minimize this logic expression by the rules of the Boolean algebra. So first, let me let A plus B equal to x so what will happen it will just be a little simplified so f is equal to x plus c into x plus c complement into a plus b complement plus c this is a c complement actually okay b plus c complement yes and these, these terms, these terms, this a plus b plus c, this is the first max term, this is the second max term, and this is the third max term. Okay. Now from the property that a plus b into a plus c, this is the distributive property, a plus b into a plus c is equal to a plus b c. So we apply it over here. So the function becomes what? x plus c into c complement. And the same remains here. All right. Now, C into C complement is zero. C into C complement is zero. And anything or with zero is again the same thing. So we have this. And back putting X, back putting X. So we have the value of the function is A plus B into a plus b complement plus c complement again using the same property this distributive property we are using it again over here so that would be what f is equal to a plus b into a plus c so it would be a plus b times b complement plus c complement multiplying it inside so we write it as a plus b into b complement plus b into c complement. So b into b complement is 0 again from this property. 
and value of the function has been reduced to a plus b times c complement. This reduced form is called the minimal or you can say the minimized pause expression. All right. So that is about the first example. Okay. Let's have a second example. Uh, a simple one, a simple one, so that it does not take a lot of time. We have a two variable function, a, b, and the function's value, let's say y, so 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. What is the function's values? It's 1, 0, 1, 0. It's 1, 0, 1, and 0. All right, so we have to do it by the max terms. So the max term is what? M, M1 and M3. So we make this function Y is, is a product of the max terms 1 and 3. Or this function is also the summation of the main terms 0 and 2. But we need it from the max terms. We need it from the max terms. A is low, so y is equal to A plus B complement into this one. Both are low and A complement, both are high, so A complement uh, plus B complement. Okay. If I change the order, if I change the order, let's say y is equal to B complement plus A. And then I write it as B complement plus A complement. So I can use the formula which I used A plus B into A plus C is A plus B C. So A is B complement. So I can write the function's value Y is equal to B complement plus A into A complement. And A into A complement is zero which implies that the function's value is equal to B complement. And you can see from here that the function is equal to B complement. So, so that is all about the pause form. We'll come up with the next lecture, maybe one or two examples on both of them. Let me summarize it for you. That in the sub form, we use the AND operation for the bits. And then we OR them together. All right? And the A, let's say the non complemented form is taken when the value is 1, and the complemented form is taken when the bit is 0. The complemented form is taken when the bit is 0. Okay? This is in the SOP form. And in the pause form, we have what? We are the bits together. And then we add the max terms. And here we have the opposite. Here a complement is taken if the bit is 1. And a is taken if the bit is 0. All right? And then we simplify that expression by the Boolean algebra rules. So that's all for this lecture. If you have any questions, you may ask in the comment section. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.